Hi everyone and welcome. We are going to look at application control snippets, a small but really useful piece. Snippets can save you valuable time in system configuration and auditing. They can improve the security and usability of your system and enable the sharing of best practice. This video summarizes the different types of snippets available, where and how they can be used, and why they really are really useful. A snippet is a small piece of reusable code. In the context of application control, snippets are imported into your configuration where they add required files and setting changes. What files are added and what settings are changed is different for each snippet. To illustrate snippets and their usefulness, we'll look at two examples. This example is for blocking an application or applications. Microsoft has identified a list of applications which have the potential for malicious use and generally recommends they are blocked. The Microsoft Recommended Block Snippet does just that. It integrates with your application control configuration and prevents users from running potentially harmful software. Let's assume your default configuration currently allows certain executables on this list to run, such as WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux end users are free to open and run this as they wish. To apply the recommended block snippet to everyone, select the Everyone group, then click Import Snippet. The dialog lists any snippets previously downloaded or available. Click Add to import the snippet to your configuration, confirm the import details, and the import completes. This particular snippet automatically creates two new groups. Recommended block lists all the executables we saw listed on the website, and in this group, the DLLs. Because we have added denied items, a new rule has been added and it references these two groups. To activate the recommended block snippet, save and deploy the configuration. The recommended blocks are now in place. With this snippet active, if a user attempts to open and run WSL or any of the other blocked items, the action is denied and the user informed. The benefits of this snippet are obvious and instant increased security, shared best practice, quality assured code, and with the snippet reference documentation. You are free to review the list of blocks and modify it for your needs if required, but you don't have to research or construct the list or know how or where to construct the required rule, and you certainly don't have to learn from a costly compromise of security. Our second example uses a snippet to allow users to install and run an application, in this case, Microsoft Teams. Here we see a test user has downloaded the Teams installer, but when they try to run it, the action is denied. By importing a snippet, our configuration can be updated for a specific user with an allow rule and settings. We simply select or specify the user, and then from the ribbon menu, select Import Snippet. For the demo, we have previously downloaded the team snippet, so we select it and import it into our configuration. The snippet adds required groups to our configuration. The team's component group lists the DLLs and other file types that are opened by teams. The teams group itself lists the executables that are used to run the teams from desktop. A Microsoft Teams process rule has also been added. It states anything in the Teams group is allowed to run anything in the Teams components group. We now save and deploy our configuration and our test user tries again to run the Teams installer. This time the action is allowed and Teams successfully installs and opens. With this snippet, security remains assured. The items allowed are Microsoft trusted. Guesswork is removed. As an admin, you don't need to investigate all the required executables and other component files that must be enabled. The snippet delivers a complete solution. You don't have to know which files go where or the best way to create rules within your config, and users who require access to Teams are provided with the permissions they need and only the permissions they need. In addition to the Microsoft published snippets that we have seen, a range of specific application control snippets are available from the Avanti Marketplace. If you go to the Import Snippets button in the ribbon, there is a link for the snippets download location at the Marketplace. In the Marketplace, these symbols indicate the available snippets and you can choose one that suits your application and needs. 
The links deliver a zip package, which includes the snippet and information in PDF format. If you filter this list for security, the snippets are easier to find. Realize this symbol isn't only used for AC snippets, so read the titles and make sure of your selection. When you download a snippet, you get the XML imported into the console and a PDF document automatically opening that explains the scope and the logic or rationale behind the snippet. This can be a useful learning tool providing insights into the impact of settings changes. Because snippets are not versioned, we suggest an appropriate record of their use in your system is kept. Further general information about the use of snippets, including how to remove them and how to update them, is available in the user online help. In summary, there are small pieces of usable code called snippets that can be added to UWM application control. They can save you valuable time in system configuration and auditing. They can improve the security and usability of your system and enable the sharing of best practices. We have reviewed how they work, how they are implemented, and where you can download application control snippets from the Avanti Marketplace. Thank you for viewing this video on application control snippets, a small but really useful piece.